Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. Once again, my partner steps away. And the pure energy is here. And it's the energy from the other side of the veil. It's not what you expect. We expect messages given in your language. And as they're given, you understand them or not. You analyze them later. You write them down. But what is let in is phenomenal. Your allowance of this process being real to you allows an immense amount of what you think is energy to be passed to you. Energy is such a catch-all word. It can mean so many things to so many people. It isn't really energy at all. It's truth. It's love. It's compassion. It's it's thank you. It's so many things. It's the family with a reunion that is precious. Imagine coming through the veil is all of that right now. And the human being is asked to see what you can recognize and feel whatever it is specific to you. The old soul is unique. You have a unique path. Your future is unique. The past is unique. There is nobody, no soul group like you in the galaxy. So each one of you is on a different path and each one of you has different things you're learning. I cannot sit here nor any other channel and give you a stream of words in your language that's going to suit everyone in the room. Instead, the love and compassion comes flying in with what we call the third language and it sits upon you and educates you and loves you and holds your hands that's unique for each one and it whispers in this wind of change I know your name in this wind of change I know your name I know who you are why you are what you come with I know the difficulties I know the trauma I know the joy and it's unique to every single individual including my partner unique different special each one of you there is no human on this planet who doesn't get this but the old soul is the one who can pick it up first You've spent your lives in spiritual work in so many lifetimes and awakened in so many lifetimes. And so this particular third language starts speaking to you and you start understanding it's a real communication to you. This is going to become more acute, cognized better with old souls who can count on this without a channel. Grabbing it themselves when they meditate, even when they don't. Starting to hear it, understand it at an esoteric level. And it'll guide their lives in the future. Channeling eventually will be a thing of the past. As humans evolve and they become their own intuitives. And they don't have to have someone sitting in a chair 
passing information through a translation medium like you hear now this is where it's going and the old souls will lead the way be the example like they have in the past except in the new energy they will be seen as teachers they will be honored as balanced ones as masters masters not as the ascended masters but mas masters of life balanced somebody you want to be with somebody who has answers somebody you feel peaceful around dear ones the last two channelings that I've given in your country are related and this last one is related if I had told you there was a trilogy of information it would have been incorrect because each channeling will stand on its own however the three together will complete the information that the other two have and that's free choice is it not to listen to three to listen to one but not having to listen to all three but understanding that if you do the picture will be clearer so this is the third of three for those of you who did not hear the first two they're all about the energy of today dark and light duality and akash in the first channel I told you about the truth of you duality is becoming more contrasting if you take a device which will represent a photo and you turn up the contrast the darks will be darker and the lights will be lighter the blacks blacker the whites whiter and that is what we told you in the first channel that is happening with duality itself and it's becoming troublesome for many those who don't understand what is going on in the planet and have been light workers and old souls even those in that which we would call the business reading channeling healing if you don't know what's going on it's going to be frustrating we told you this there are those in this audience right now not the ones just listening the ones sitting who are frustrated who are stuck who can't get a grip on what's going on who have been trying for a long time nothing is happening I'm going to address that in a moment those listening you too duality becomes more contrasting the negatives are more negative the positives are more positive but human nature sees the negative first and so there's fear and the fear then develops into greater fear and more worry it's a cauldron that sits on itself and develops more of itself that's the way it works so it doesn't get any better even though the light is lighter you don't go there you don't see it it's not obvious and so you're frustrated I'm gonna tell you why in just a moment and so the first channel was about this asking you where is your truth of you we said when you're not in meditation who are you do you leave here and become someone else is your spirituality something you report to and dress for is it in a box or is it every waking moment of your life the duality is becoming stronger you might say it's a battle it's a battle for dark or light in your very soul vibration which one will you be will you be balanced or not or will you worry and fear for the rest of your life 
the next channel we started to identify why it is happening the shift is upon you and the next channel started to say to you you're an old soul and old souls have gone through so much where they've had to fight the negative where every time they showed their light they were snuffed out were put in the corner were ostracized and lifetime after lifetime you would awaken saying well here I am again maybe I won't shine my light but you couldn't help it the truth is that way awareness is that way when everyone's in the dark and you've got an answer you want to tell them and then you tell them and they look at you and they say who are you carrier of magic and they create their own darkness out of your light through their own misunderstanding and their own fear so it doesn't matter how spiritual you were you were still ostracized sometimes you were terminated because of the magic you had and the second channeling described then you coming into this life with a thousand past lives fighting an energy that you never got ahead with and suddenly there's a shift and a change burdens are starting to be lifted where we said your Akash still carries the ancient fear and that translates into lack of self-worth we told you that and that's why light workers and old souls sit in front of me listening and sitting almost all who question their worth we started telling you that the planet itself is geared at this time to help you with this because the shift was known to be happening the ancients predicted it here it is we told you the Pleiadians knew that when this precession was finished the the nodes and the knolls would open and the time capsules would start doing their best to to push and pull that energy around of your Akash we told you that the planet itself and the crystalline grid would start vacuuming it up it's a good metaphor vacuuming it up to help you to get out of the fear to get out of the condition of a duality that was shifting with an Akash which was pressing on you and here you are in the middle of the shift as an old soul some of you are still afraid you don't know you can't trust the light perhaps or you're uncertain of what to do next or you can sit in this channeling and read a book and it doesn't help at all you're still stuck and the things that you want to change your joy factor for instance it would be nice to wake up in the morning and be cheerful no matter what no matter what knowing that the balance that is your truth of the duality is in the positive side sure you'll have bad days but the balance that you have will always come up to being the balanced compassionate one who will laugh a lot and smile and see God in everyone where is that with you and there are those who would say it's nowhere with me that's not me yet so I present you number three 20 years and we've been talking about something called pure intent one of the strongest things that a human has esoteric yes physical yes and we defined it so many ways pure intent different than just intent it's the kind of intent where you say I intend to get wet into this lake I'll think about it I'll intend and intend but pure intent has you jumping in the lake <laughs> knowing that gravity will take over and put you right where you intend to be that's pure intent the other word is cognizing believing it so strongly it becomes you it becomes your way of life intent is so powerful 
It, it is the one that is number three of the two we have given you before. And combined with the information we've given you in the last two channels, the trilogy is this. It is the catalyst for everything you've asked for. Now, let me tell you, it has another name. Release. I'm going to paint a picture for you of a train. So easy to imagine this train chugging along on the tracks. The train is your soul or your soul group through the ages. The train always moved forward in time. It has the same engine and that engine is that which you call the higher self or what we would call the higher self group. It's always the same higher self. The primary is the same. Your best friend is your higher self. Well, the higher self has been with you every single incarnation. And it pulls the train through the ages. The train doesn't stop. Even when you die, time continues. And when you return, you have more experiences. The last life you lived is added to the train. Think of it as a new car. And every car carries a load. Now for eons, that load has had an energy. It's a dark load. Because you've had a battle. That you fought over and over and over. Cars are added every single time you arrive. The engine, which is the higher self. It does a good job. It pulls them all no matter how many you have. But the vibration of the train is tainted by the vibration of what's in the cars. Lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. You fill the cars with dark coal, for instance. And the train gets longer and bigger. You come into that which is this life and the train is the same. Only the train starts to have other things take place with it. The channel that we gave you, the first one, the train starts to, to change in its awareness of black and white. Light and dark. High and low vibration. The train itself gets to be confused because it has never seen this before. The train doesn't even know what balance is. In the second channel, we told you that the track itself yells at you, let me help you, let me help you. That's Gaia. The energy around the train, which is the field, reaches out and says, let me help you, let me help you. And all you can see is cars, thousands of them filled with dark energy. And you sit there and you say, I don't know, I don't know. I'm not getting anywhere, I'm stuck. All of this is so confusing. Dear Spirit, help me. And now I want to tell you. I want you to reach down. And see that beautiful engine of the higher self. And I want you to throw a switch and release all the cars. Oh. And I want that to be a fresh and new beginning that you are doing yourself by releasing with pure intent and understanding all of the help that you wanted will now flood in. But until you release with that intent, it's still going to be difficult. You're stuck because there's too many cars. The things that aren't moving in your life is because there's too many cars. And they're loaded with your Akash, which has been over and over so dark and so tough. And now it isn't. The wind is at your back. There is light coming. Color is coming in a black and white world. You are positioning yourself to be in the right place at the right time. But not with those cars. And when you release them with pure intent, you might ask in a linear way, well, where do they go? 
<laughs> they go away. You're not going to run into them again. This is not a temporary fix. It's not a band-aid. This is you releasing all of the eons of stuff that you don't need. That's the catalyst. That's number three. I want you to take this channel and listen to it again and listen to the other two and put this together and connect the dots and be free. Be free of this past Akash. Be free of that which was a darker world. Old soul, you have graduated. There's no reason to pull around the books you learned from. Cast them away. The sun is coming out. And the engine is fresh. With no cars at all. And the ones you create now won't be dark. Because it's different. It couldn't be clearer. It's another metaphor. I'm crying in love with humanity. Every single one. Because I'm connected to the central source. Which is in love with every single one. It doesn't matter who you are, what you've done. Or your attitude or your belief. It's absolutely guaranteed. Pure. 100%. No matter who you are. The veil covers so much to you. If you only knew what's out there. The hand is very big. It wants to take you into a grand place and cancel the fear so that when you get up in the morning, you'll smile and say, thank you, God, for another beautiful day. And that's enough for now. And so it is.